Primal Blueprint Law 3, move frequently. Basically, we don't move enough now. You know, our bodies are designed to be put through a variety of motions and ranges of motions and types of exercise and positions um, and joint articulations, uh, not just uh, from day to day, but sometimes from hour to hour throughout the day. Our ancestors didn't have desks that they sat at all day. Uh, they didn't even have chairs to sit on for the most part. So they were constantly changing positions, moving around a lot, migrating, foraging, uh, and our genes expect this of us. Today, we somehow think that we can uh, circumvent that requirement by going to the gym once or twice or three times a week, doing some activity and say, okay, I did my exercise and I'm finished. Um, the problem with that is we go back to the sedentary lifestyle, we sit on the sofa, we watch TV, we go back to the, to the desk, we work, uh, and we really haven't accomplished what we need to in the way of the expectation of our genes, which is to move. Now movement doesn't necessarily require that you burn calories. It isn't about uh, high heart rates all the time, it's just about putting yourself through ranges of motion, different planes of activity. The challenge is to find ways in which we can do this that uh, we can incorporate into our daily life. Walking the dog, taking stairs, taking frequent breaks at work. Uh, all these things count as movement. Uh, even dropping and doing some push-ups or some air squats, uh, different types of movement throughout the day will maintain uh, the fluidity of our joints, the mobility of our joints, and all the things that we're looking for as a base of exercise. Having said that, um, certainly a couple of times a week, do some cardio activity, something uh, we like to use the, the, the term 180 minus your age as a maximum aerobic uh, output. So find a way to hike or ride a bike or swim uh, or even do a uh, Stairmaster or um, you know, uh, elliptical train or whatever it is um, for some length of time where you're maintaining a slightly elevated heart rate. That's another way of moving uh, at this low level of activity. All of which combines to create uh, an aerobic base where fats will be burned uh, appropriately and where your, uh, your joints will be mobile uh, and, and this, this activity will serve you well into your later years. In fact, I would argue that, uh, that longevity uh, has two basic components, one of which is mobility. The other is access to cognition and memory, but mobility is a, is a critical part of longevity. One of the problems that people encounter is, is when they, they do two or three hours of cardio a day sometimes, uh, and then don't do anything else the rest of the day. And I would suggest that you're better off sometimes doing less of the cardio activity and more of just finding ways to move through life uh, without counting calories, but just simply spending more time walking, um, uh, changing positions at work, maybe having a stand-up desk. Uh, you know, th the, uh, the opportunity for finding different ways to move is almost limitless.